Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky is a psychological and philosophical masterpiece that explores the depths of human morality, the consequences of crime, and the complexities of redemption. The novel is set in 19th century St. Petersburg and follows the story of Rod Ion Raskolnikov, a destitute former student who commits a heinous crime, and the psychological torment that ensues. The narrative begins with Raskolnikov, living in poverty and contemplating a radical theory that divides people into ordinary and extraordinary individuals. He believes that extraordinary people, possessing superior intellect and will, are exempt from conventional morality and can transgress moral boundaries for the greater good. Motivated by this theory in his dire financial situation, Raskolnikov plans and executes the murder of a pawnbroker, Aliona Ivanovna. However, the act doesn't unfold as Raskolnikov envisions. He murders both the pawnbroker and her innocent half-sister, Lizaveta. The crime leaves him in a state of profound psychological distress, and the novel follows Raskolnikov's inner turmoil and the impact of his crime on those around him. The novel introduces a diverse cast of characters who intersect with Raskolnikov's life, each contributing to the exploration of moral and ethical dilemmas. Sonia Marmoladov, a young prostitute with a deep religious faith, becomes a significant figure in Raskolnikov's life, offering him spiritual solace and a path to redemption. Porfiry Petrovich, the cunning police detective, suspects Raskolnikov's involvement in the crime and engages in a psychological cat-and-mouse game with him. As the story unfolds, Raskolnikov's mental state deteriorates, leading to feverish dreams and hallucinations. Dostoevsky masterfully delves into the psychological intricacies of guilt, paranoia, and moral anguish. Raskolnikov's internal dialogue, often represented through stream-of-consciousness narrative, provides insight into the conflicting forces within his mind. The novel also explores the societal and economic issues of 19th-century Russia, portraying the stark divide between the impoverished and the privileged. Raskolnikov's interactions with the Marmoladov family, as well as his former university acquaintance Razumikin, highlight the struggles of those on the fringes of society. Sonia becomes a crucial moral compass for Raskolnikov, embodying compassion and forgiveness. Her unwavering faith and love challenge Raskolnikov's nihilistic worldview, sparking a transformation within him. Through their interactions, Dostoevsky explores themes of redemption, the power of human connection, and the possibility of spiritual renewal. The novel builds tension as Raskolnikov's crime is investigated by Porphyry, who skillfully manipulates conversations to elicit incriminating statements. Raskolnikov, grappling with guilt and paranoia, oscillates between confessing and evading capture. The psychological intensity culminates in a gripping climax that underscores the novel's exploration of crime, punishment, and the human psyche. In the latter part of the novel, Raskolnikov is sentenced to exile in Siberia, symbolizing his physical and spiritual journey towards redemption. The Siberian setting serves as a backdrop for Raskolnikov's inner transformation, and it is during this period that he confronts the consequences of his actions and grapples with his own humanity. The epilogue of the novel provides a glimpse into Raskolnikov's gradual spiritual awakening and the impact of Sonia's love on his soul. The novel concludes with a sense of moral and emotional resolution, emphasizing the possibility of redemption and the transformative power of love, Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment is a profound exploration of the human condition, delving into the complexities of morality, guilt, and redemption. The novel's psychological depth, intricate characterizations, and philosophical undertones contribute to its status as a literary classic. Through the lens of Raskolnikov's moral journey, Dostoevsky invites readers to reflect on the nature of good and evil, the consequences of one's choices, and the potential for spiritual renewal even in the darkest of circumstances. Crime and Punishment stands as a timeless work that continues to captivate readers with its exploration of the eternal struggle between the human soul and the moral fabric of society. If you enjoyed this summary and support this channel, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more literary adventures, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me which character's story touched your heart or share your favorite moment from the book. Thank you until our next chapter together. Bye, take care, and love you.